Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today I'm excited to be bringing you the Shell Robot game. It's one of those things where it's one of those old fashioned games where you're trying to have sleight of hand and find where the peanut is. Today I'm using a robot and using one of these blue three hole beams. If you want to see that, stay with me. Hey guys, this is Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you love robotics and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. So the shell game, it's, it's an old fashioned game. If you've ever seen those old movies and they try to swindle people on the street by trying to put a peanut under something and then like moving it around really quick and trying to make you see if you can find it. Um, if you've never seen that, check this out. So I thought, why not make a robot that can do the same thing? Try to hide this underneath a cup that a robot is twirling around or rotating and have you guys see if you can keep your eye on which cup this is in. And after it's done rotating, see if you can figure out which cup it's in. So let me go ahead and show you the robot. Okay, so there it is. There is my shell game robot. So the objective here is I'm going to be hiding this blue three hole beam under one of these cups and then I'm going to have the robot basically spin these cups as fast as it can go. So if you guys remember the speed bot, that's the basic setup for the speed bot. So I, again, I have this 40 tooth gear coming out of the large motor and it's going to be spinning this eight tooth gear. So it's going to be spinning it as fast as I can get it to spin. And at the end, your job is to figure out, is it under this cup? or is it under that cup? So if you can see, it's a simple setup here. I just needed some support over here because this large motor was you know, making the whole thing like tilt this way. So I had to just get some support here. Super easy setup, just the one large motor. And then I poked a hole at the top of these cups and just put a small blue connector underneath that. So if you want to see how it goes just um, under motor control, let's go ahead and check that out. So let me just show you how fast this can go. Okay, sorry about that. We had some minor technical difficulties. So there we go, getting those cups to spin as fast as we can. And then, so that's what will happen. We'll just place this under one of the cups and have you just try to keep your eye fixated on which cup it's underneath and be able to pick this at the end. So here's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be doing this 10 times and we will consider you successful if you can get, if you can have the correct answer more than 70% of the time. So if you can get a seven, eight, nine, or 10 correct, we will consider you successful. So let's go ahead and I just have the program. It's set for 100% motor speed for five seconds. And your job is just to keep your eye on it for five seconds. So here we go. Okay, after a practice trial, I figured out I'd have to tape this down to the cup because they're spinning so fast. This ends up flying from underneath the cup. So I'm gonna tape it to the side. And then when we're done, I'll just reach underneath it and see where it is. So here we go, it's gonna go underneath this cup right here. All right, here we go. Okay, so which cup do you think it's under? The one on the left or the one on the right? So you guys, I'm gonna leave you to your honor. Maybe have a pencil and something to write on and see if you're correct. But um, I'm going to, you know, obviously leave it up to you to figure out if you got it correct or not. And at the end, you can tell me how many you got correct. So again, is it underneath the left one or the right one? Let's go ahead and find out. And it's underneath the left one. So if you said left, you're correct. Let's go to number two. 
Okay, second one, I'm gonna switch it. I'm gonna put it underneath this cup. All right, here we go. Okay, so second attempt. Go ahead and tell me which one do you think it's under? Is it underneath the left one or the right? Let's go ahead and check and see. Hey, there it is. It's underneath the right one. So if you said right, you're correct. Let's go to number three. Okay, we're going to now put it underneath this one. Make sure that's in there real good. Okay, here we go. Okay, so which one is it under? The left or the right? Let's go ahead and check. And it was underneath the right one. Let's go to number four. Okay, here we go. For number four, we're going to put it underneath this one. And here we go. Okay, left one or right one? Let's check this one first here. And, oh, I don't feel anything under that one. And here we go. It was underneath, it was underneath the right one. Let's go to number five. Okay, here we go for the fifth one. And let's put it underneath this. Whoops. Well, gives you a chance to see the hole that I made. So it's going to be here. Let's go. This is number five. Yeah, I have to figure out a way for it not to hit this. It's kind of slowing it down. Um, but let's go ahead and go, is it in the front one or in the back? Front or back? And I don't feel it there. It must be in the back. Yep, it is here. And really hard to get out. Okay, so it was in the back. And I lost my tape. Oh, well, I'll just make another one. Let's go to number six. And here we go. Okay, so it ended up in the same spot again. Front or back. Let's go check. And it's underneath the front. And my tape came off again. How are you guys doing? So that was number six. How are you guys doing? Okay, so let's go on to number seven. Okay, everybody, this is number seven. Seven. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. And it's here in the front. It's in the front. Okay, so that was number seven. Let's go to eight. Okay, we're, let's go to eight. It's going to start here on this left one. Let's get this right. Okay, so is it going to be left or right? Here we go. Let's check. And there it is. It was in the left. So let's now go to number nine. Okay, this is number nine. Okay, front 
or back, front or back. Let's check this out. And it was in the front. Very nice if you said front. All right, this is number 10, everybody. So here we go. If you're perfect, this is your last chance to be perfect. Okay, so is it going to be the left or the right? Let's figure this one out. It's definitely not. There it is. It was under the left. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Mr. Hino's Lego EV3 peanut shell game. Um, it's one of those things where I'll probably have to modify. Um, it seemed like it was really easy to follow. I should probably add another arm to this so there's four cups. Probably will make it a lot tougher. So I'd be looking to see uh, a modified, updated uh, shell game robot video coming at you. Because for those of you that are sitting there going, oh, that was really easy to spot or see. So I'm going to start, go ahead and make it tougher for you guys, okay? All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it, though. It's a really easy uh, robot to build if you wanted to make one of your own. And I just geared it up to make it go fast. And I guess I'm going to have to just add more cups to make it look like it's a little bit more confusing to you know keep track of where that three hole beam was okay so I, I i'm always going to try to make it a little tougher for you guys okay guys hopefully you're still staying safe having fun i am mr hino from missing zyga robotics i'm out he's out he's out we got this we got this we got this guys Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.